Good morning and welcome back to the Now Morning Show where this morning we are talking pan. And joining us virtually is Miss Beverly Ramsey Moore, no stranger to the Now Morning Show as the Pan Trinbago president to give us a bit of an update on things that we should be adding to our calendar. Miss Beverly Ramsey Raw, good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show again. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to your viewers and listeners. Seeing that you're joining us via Zoom, it's, I take it's an indicator of how hectic the season has been so that you have digitally chiming in and we appreciate it all the same. Let's jump yes, into the I calendar of events immediately though because this year was undoubtedly a great year for the visibility of PAN. PAN Trinbago has a lot of successes to count and a lot of events starting, well, one of which is happening today. So let's start with the THA PAN Champs as this is taking place today at 7 p.m. Yes. What can we expect and what can we look forward to? It's Parade Park. Yes, it is happening today. The Tobago region is definitely going to be on stage as they present another event right here on the island of Tobago. This event is basically sponsored by the Tobago House of Assembly. And so all the bands are from Tobago will be participating. They have three categories, the single band category, the small band category, and then the large bands. And they are going to be on stage Tonight, we are going to declare our champions in those categories. And so the fierce fight, musical war, continues in Tobago tonight. <laughs> I love that you describe it as a musical war because ultimately it is a competition, but the fraternity has been doing extremely well. And I think you can lend some of that success to the idea of launching the season a little bit earlier, wouldn't you say? Correct, correct. Pan is indeed community soul. And we want to give every community a space in all that we are doing. You know, we have over 150 bands participating in Panorama Festival itself. Right. And these bands, we have been to every single community. And that is the good thing about the Pan Yard Judging. It gives those members of the community the opportunity to come out in that space to support their bands. They're so patriotic, wearing their band T-shirt, and yes. they're so emotional. And then sometimes the band did not qualify, and then there is tears. And then we have to find a way to comfort those young people. Mm. It's all about the, the, the resistance resilience and the bouncing back of the steel band movement and that is why we are so great. The passion is there and it comes through in the yes. music, but we have many greats that we have to honor. So I'm very, very glad that I'm seeing a lot of events being named in honor of great names in the Pan Fraternity. So let's jump across yes. to the Ken Professor Fillmore South Central Pan Champs happening at Skinner Park. As you rightfully said, you're going to every community. So what's the difference besides location and the dynamic of this event? What are we looking at for this one happening on Thursday? We are honoring a great man. Ken Professor Fillmore, as you know, is an icon or was an icon in the steel pan movement, in the steel pan community coming from South. We believe that we wanted to provide another opportunity for the bands in South Central Trinidad. And we decided to honor his name and honor his work. And for the very first time, we are going to have the South Central Pan Champs in his name. And we have been working alongside the Ken Professor Fillmore Foundation with his wife, Sophie, and his brothers and sisters, Brian, and all the others. And we are going to really provide that support to them. And all the bands in South that would have qualified will be participating. So we are prepared for, from a pantry and bigger position to invest in this event. We also reached out to the business community in South and we've asked them to be a part of this. This is all about having our young people and our senior citizens committed to the development of the steel ban or the steel pan in their communities. As I mentioned before, when you say pan, you talk about people. When you talk about people, you talk about families. When you talk about families, you talk about community. Mm -hmm. And the only mm -hmm. instrument that I see, the only musical instrument that have this energy and this drive that can bring people together and unite us, no matter what color, no matter what creed, no matter what religion, 
I tell you, Pan can do it. All right. I like the faith you have in Pan. But I want to ask, <laughs> in terms of development, you spoke about the development from the business community and the investment particularly that is necessary to make these things happen. And makes me wonder how long this particular uh, endeavor has been in the works. Ken Professor Fillmore's legacy is decades long. How come we're just getting the first one this time around? What sorts of planning or time frame have we been looking at to make this a reality? So it's all about partnership. We have a very, very good relationship with the foundation. As you know, um, I think it was in 2019 that Ken passed. And immediately after that, his family got together and set up this foundation. And they have been doing a number of things in his name, a number of positive things in his name. And Panch and Bigo, we would have established that relationship with them. And because of that, we decided, you know what? one of the first big moves to keep his name and to keep his dream alive is to honor him with a um, panorama, this pan champs, you know, in Tobago, we have the Tobago House of Assembly pan champs. South is now South Central, we now have the Ken Professor Fillmore pan champs. And we thought that that was a really, really honorable way to recognize his work and to continue to have his name live on. Definitely sounds like it, but in terms of the actual sound, does that mean that we will have any sort of tribute performances in addition to the competition itself? Well, we, we, I think um, and that's a great suggestion that you're putting on the table. So definitely we are going to have tribute performances because you know there's a plethora of talent in the South community. And even his son, I mean, come on, he's going to go, go do something for his dad. So definitely, yes. So and then by really just having fun clear, just having ah. fun clear, which is his band, just fun clear being there in this competition, I tell you. You know, like fun by storm, we got to have fun by storm there tonight. Of course, of course. You um, can't be in South and not have fun clear. Come on now. That's, that's, that's right. That's, Thursday night. That's a given. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Correct. let's talk a little bit about the tickets because they're just $200, but are they still available? Is it too late to get those tickets at the various locations? No, no, no. You can still get your tickets at the South Central office. You can also go online at Island e Ticket and, and then you can purchase your ticket on the very day at the event. Beautiful. Now, you've got quite the calendar this carnival, so we are going to see a great performance by a number of van, bands, conventional bands that is in the category, particularly for that South Central uh, performance. But beyond the carnival season, we want to see more pan. We want to hear more pan and we want to participate even more as a community, as you've continued to stress. How is Pan Train Bago making the pan more accessible to us beyond the season? Well, you know, we have been doing that, eh? If you notice, and I think that is one of the reasons why our events are so successful. Right. I mean, when you think about um, Savannah Party and people just wanted to get in, and people, I tell you, it was something else. Because throughout the year, we have been having events. We move from panorama into pan in 21st century. And then we have this whole big shebang with the month of August, which is our pan month. We were able to get through our government of Trinidad and Tobago, and in particular, our ministry, our line minister, Senator the Honorable Randall Mitchell, to go forward to the United Nations, where today we have World Steel Pan Day, which is another massive event that we are going to be celebrating here in Trinidad and Tobago. And by the time we are finished with August, we go right back into Panorama. And in the meantime, all the regions are having events or will be having events but this year south central region northern region tobago region and the eastern region this is going to be a bumper of activities we have to keep our young people occupied mm -hmm. and the panyards are safe and sacred spaces that we use to give to, to, to implant in them a number of social skills and, 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 and to develop them. The music is great, but you know, in the panyard itself, it is all about the developmental pro process so that we can um, produce great citizens here in Trinidad and Tobago.
Beautiful. I love that you emphasize that the Paniards are sacred spaces, safe and sacred spaces yes. for the youth. And we look forward to visiting the Paniards, like I said, throughout the year, as you've so beautifully detailed with all the activity that is buzzing, all the talent that is brewing, and all that is coming up on the calendar, including the culmination with the BPTT National Large Conventional Bands. So best of luck to each and every band. Congratulations to Pantrin Baby. That's right. Bands. One of yes, and let's just, before we run, that uh -huh. on Carnival Saturday is going to be a movie at uh -huh. Queen's Park Savannah with the large band finals. Trinidad and Tobago, get your tickets, come out and give the band the support as we bring closure down with the competition aspect of it. And the, the following week, which is Lania on the Saturday after Carnival Saturday, there's Lania. So thank you for your support. Thank you to all our sponsors. And may God bless Trinidad and Tobago as we use PAN as a vehicle for positive social transformation. The incomparable Beverly Ramsey Moore, Pan Trinbago president, is reminding of us of exactly why we need to continue to support our national instrument. Pan is on the move, and we are supporting it 100%. Yes. Guys, thank you very much for joining us, Mrs. Ramsey Moore. Thank and don't you. forget to add all these events to your calendar as Carnival continues here on Now after these messages. Stick around, guys.